back into space, to Mars and beyond, ignited the imagination and brought back the notion that mankind and alien beings had crossed paths before. Walk in the sands of Osiris, the divine mother Isis. Through the streams of time, I write this, decode the hieroglyphs and see the lunar eclipse, UFOs over Egypt. Words of the gods, the guardians of the sands who build the runways for the spaceships to land. The valley of the kings, magic and mystery, forbidden history that will put you out of your misery. Faith and glory, the temple in your mental, visions and images created by your essentials. The heavenly realm journeys to the other world, passing the stars that shine like pearls. The science of the Mayans, the stars of Orion, flying chariots decorated with lions. The battle of Horus, individuals that change through metamorphosis, cast the spells and curses, rituals and sacrifice, visions of nature, the waters of life, structures of the divine, the spirit of the forest, animal symbolism, knowledge and wisdom, knowledge and the ruins of Humapuku, the pyramids of Giza, the lines of Nazca, Ave to Vista, and see, believe, futuristic scenes, sculptures with wings, are they gods or are they kings, ancient astronauts, the pyramid of the sun was built by giants that moved rocks, circles drawing props, the tomb of Lord Pakal, giant diorite stones that interlock, treasures of the Lord, the guardians of sacred lore, cities of the cosmos, in the starship Los Vamos, cities of the cosmos, in the starship Los Vamos. Somebody descends from the sky to the humans, our forefathers could not understand it, they believed that these are some gods. I was shocked. I asked the question, were primitive humans influenced by extraterrestrials, not gods? And if it all was like I suggested, what is the proof? So you start trying to find at least indications, that's what I have done now for at least 45 years. You have pictorial evidence, you have artifacts in archaeology, and you have what's come out of the old literature. Hundreds of indications which you cannot deny anymore. What it means is that we need new explanations for human origins, that perhaps we're not alone in the universe, and that human-like beings came to this planet from some other planet elsewhere in the cosmos. I think that's a very good idea myself. And it really excited people with a new way of looking at the past, looking at ancient civilizations, and it's put this very modern 